While disgusting sex lives of Abu Dhabi sheikhs, many girls will say that they are modeling in Abu Dhabi, but the truth is this. The departure of girls, and by God, boys, from all over the world to work in Abu Dhabi is always accompanied by a dose of suspicion. Although modeling is cited as the most common reason for their departure, most often it is about selling their bodies. We all know that selling bodies, homosexuality, adultery, and the like are officially prohibited in this part of the world, but the facts say otherwise. Abu Dhabi has long since become one of the main cities for the sale of intimacy in the Middle East. In Abu Dhabi, you can find concubines of literally all nations, races, both sexes are engaged in the oldest craft, and we can often hear about various fetishes and perversions that are loved by rich sheikhs, but also by tourists who come from different countries in search of luxury, but often also to live. A trend appeared on social networks in which one term is mentioned, porta potty. If you saw the footage, your life would be shortened by a few years, and your appetite wouldn't be the best either. The videos are not for everyone's eyes and stomach. This term refers to an expensive escort escort that goes on the yachts of wealthy sheikhs, as well as wealthy tourists, for a figure of over $30,000 so that they can enjoy themselves on them. Golden shower and black caviar, as they call these two perverse shops, are paid dearly, and the rich enjoy spending their, we believe, blood and money that was probably inherited by Grandpa Sheikh. It has become a hobby of rich Arabs to defecate on Instagram models and starlets. They often compete to see who can do it more than once during the night. Many starlets, presenters, actresses, but also ordinary girls who look good and have a good stomach, have no urge to vomit, no self-respect and no semblance of morality go to Abu Dhabi in order to earn blood and money, or in this case, really stinky money. If we translate the mentioned term, we get the term kin mobile toilet, which best describes how sheikhs satisfy their perverted fetishes. It is absolutely clear, accurate, precise and concrete occupation of many girls from Instagram who boast of a rich lifestyle, and they do not have a day of work experience, nor rich parents, nor old sponsors. When you ask such girls what they do, they usually say modeling out of the blue, which is highly valued in Abu Dhabi, we have to admit. We are not saying that all girls allow small or large bowel movements to be performed on them, and that they all eat what they should not, but it is clear that such women exist, as well as that they brag about their wonderful lives on television and Instagram every day. So many girls want to be just like those beautiful aunts who do nothing but lots of corrections on their bodies. It's those girls who give themselves complexes that they are not beautiful and handsome enough, and not rich enough, and later sell their soul, body, intimacy, morals, face, they give their whole selves. The wanton sheikhs of Abu Dhabi seem to have a desire to prove to the world that money can buy everything. Their bizarre fantasies have almost nothing to do with sex anymore, because they are starting to look more and more like mental illnesses. Abu Dhabi has been known for decades for importing concubines and trafficking women for the purpose of selling their bodies. It is called the international center of this type of tourism, Although this type of work is illegal in the UAE, women are forced into the oldest trade in two ways. Those who are directly trafficked to sell their bodies are lured to the UAE with promises of positions as secretaries, masseuses, or domestic helpers. Their compatriots are usually the ones who manage the trade in women because they give them security. They often share positive stories about life in the United Arab Emirates before luring women into the circles of the oldest craft. Some women, usually domestic helpers, are trafficked after escaping from their abusive employers. The parties of sheikhs and Arab rich people cost a fortune, and regularly end in orgies and bacchanalia that people with weaker stomachs cannot bear. Parties and parties of rich Arabs occupy a special place on the scale of disgust and amazement. There is hardly such a long ladder on which the category party of sheikhs and rich Arabs could take its place. As we said, their parties full of orgies, use of drugs, various opiates, and intimate aids regularly end in fatal outcomes, and how could it not be when there is practically nothing to do? Hotels, of course, do not want to cancel the arrangement for guests from the Middle East, due to their fabulous income, but some have introduced a surcharge, and some have introduced a deposit, 
which applies exclusively to orgies and sex in hotel rooms. And why not? However, a concubine revealed a few years ago that she received an unreal amount of money for intimate services that, apart from classic sex, also included other fetish satisfaction. Several rich sheikhs even forced her to shove live salmon in their bottoms to satisfy their fetish. Arabs are the most generous people in the world, to them that money is just paper. With them you can take up to 35,000 euros just for one night. They love going on yachts, and they choose their wives before they go out to sea. There can be up to 10 girls on yachts, usually models, who are naked or half-naked. Entertainment is all about drugs, drinking, and intimate relationships with beautiful women. The girls are waiting for their envelopes at the end of the night. Clients put the agreed amount in an envelope, and write gift on it. Prince Majid bin Abdullah bin Abdulaziz Al Saud once ordered the entire staff at his $37 million mansion in Los Angeles to show up at a party to satisfy some of his wants and needs. After the incident that happened in 2017, the prince was arrested after neighbors found a bloody woman running away from the property. His party lasted for three days, and the other women, after being released, claimed that they were captured during a debaucherous party, where there was cocaine, Viagra, and various types of opiates. One claimed he threatened to kill her if she didn't have fun with him and try a threesome. Arab kings are accused of forcing their loyal subjects to live according to ultra-conservative rules. In secret they are real hedonists and prefer a lifestyle that includes sex, alcohol, drugs. The requirements are different. Not everyone wants to have fun with a hot blonde with sizzling curves. Some want gay parties and perversions with people of the same sex, then rent a hotel so they can do drugs in peace. This is a paradise for bad boys, and they can forget about reality here. A sheikh wanted 10 concubines in burqas in a tent in the middle of the desert. He tasked people with building a tent with sound systems, an outdoor jacuzzi and giant beds under the open sky. He insisted that women do not take off their burqas, but only the rest of their clothes. He also had a fetish for watching his servants have orgies. He didn't want alcohol or drugs, just a bunch of women in burqas. There was a sheikh from Yemen who demanded that 30 women be brought to him from Africa and a large quantity of Viagra, enough to kill an elephant. When the client finished, the hotel room looked like a bomb had fallen on it. Girls in Abu Dhabi get as much as $1,000 per hour, and men participating in orgies $500 for the same period. This reveals the hidden and illicit world of Abu Dhabi's wealthy sheikhs and tourists engaging in prostitution, perverse fetishes, and extreme hedonism, contradicting the city's conservative public image. It discusses the prevalence of trafficking women for the sex trade, extravagant parties with drug use and orgies, and disturbing acts of debauchery involving the Arab elite. Despite official prohibitions, Abu Dhabi has become a hub for the sale of intimacy, with various nationalities and backgrounds involved in these activities.